Okay, I don't know if you recognize this motor, but this is the one that had the oil pump that wasn't working. You know, these things are pretty darn reliable, but you can see there's no spring tension on this at all. So I had one of you subscribers kind of indicate that these 89s did have a spring problem. They had a fix for it, but what I like to do is just find another part, check the spring on that. Here, maybe you can see that better. See that spring's back? Here we know that spring's good. I got all the hoses and everything. Same exact part number. I don't know if you got that or not, but this one doesn't spring at all. So I'm just going to pull these bolts, bolt that one back up, and this is the motor that's going in the motor swap uh, video that's coming up anyway yeah just remove these four 10 millimeter bolts to get this thing off it's pretty simple just there's two long bolts and there's two short bolts just kind of remember where those go the long ones go in the vertical axis if you forget the short ones go in the horizontal axis and then this had some older hoses on it, so I just used some air to blow out the old oil. And then started cleaning up my gasket surfaces. And then make sure it's all clean and then just bolt it back together. So there's the new oil pump all hooked up. Got the lines ran over to the oil reservoir. I just got to hook up the little lines going on here. But yeah, taking out the pump and putting in a new one is not that big a deal. Especially if you got all the lines and everything all ready for it. Anyway, that's going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching again. Bye.